Hey YouTube, today I wanted to cover a lawnmower blade sharpening and balancing. I know there's plenty of other videos out there on this same subject and you know the, some of them I just don't jive with. I'm saying, you know, I've seen videos of a guy hand holding a lawnmower blade in his hand you know using a grinder <laughs> and I think there's better ways to do stuff. So uh first thing you always got to do of course is uh, get the blade off of the mower so when you lift your mower up okay you just, whatever side your air cleaner is on that's the side you want to lift and have pointing straight up in the air and a lot of these modern mowers they don't have oil drain bolts underneath and that's the exact same way you change the oil on them you, you got to tip them up on their side there is no drain bolts anymore and this is a Honda powered motor a GCV 160 on a Husqvarna HU700F so with that we'll tip the mower up Okay, now we got the mower up on its side here. This is a 22 inch model. And if you're not sure which side of the blade goes down, this, this one's marked. I'll give you a closer look at that when I get it off. But you can take a grease pencil or whatever and just mark whichever side goes down. And that'll make sure you install the blade right. Now on my particular model, I checked ahead of time, it is, this is a 9 16 bolt. I think the most common one would be 5 8 which is surprising for this Honda motor, you would figure this would be a metric bolt, but outdoor power equipment, they seem to be the holdout for SAE sizes. So what we're going to use today is uh, my Dewalt quarter inch impact. So we'll see if this thing has enough guts to remove the blade off of this. Oop. Wrong way. So now we got the bolt off and there. Oop. Sorry about that. See it says grass side there. Now we got the blade off. We'll give it kind of an inspection here. Yeah, we got some nicks. But my lawn's no golf course. And you can clean this with a wire brush or whatever. And I'm probably going to do that after the sharpening sequence. So now we got the blade off, we'll get it mounted up in a vise and go over different sharpening methods. Okay, now we got the blade off and I have it mounted here. This is actually a drill press vise. And it'll give me enough support to, uh, well, you know, grind a head on this and give me something to hold on to while I do it. Talk about the different things you can use first would be my least favorite would be this hand file where you could just you know go down the face of the blade here next this was a this is an attachment for your Dremel tool and there you can see it tells you what stone to use but these don't work so well on these uh, this is a curved mulching blade so you know it has that waveform to it so I don't recommend this for this type of blade. If you have a straight mower blade though I have used this in the past and it works okay. Next what I see a lot of guys using on YouTube you know your standard four and a half inch grinder and I actually bought, I got an 80 grit flap wheel on here 
I see a lot of guys get really decent results with this. I mean, just something, you know, they look like really nice finish on them with it. And my preferred way is just regular old angle grinder here. One of these, uh, oh, they, you know, they call them a metal prep disc. Like a Brillo pad. And I seem to have good control with this. And that's what I'm going to be employing for this today. Of course, whatever method you use, do you want to wear, be wearing safety glasses when you do this. So with that, we'll hook up the air and get started. Alright, I know we're still showing some nicks and stuff in here, but I said my lawn's not a golf course. And there is a nice sharp edge on that now. So, from this point, we'll go on to what I actually think is the most important step of all this, and that's getting good balance out of these. I should also mention, after you're done uh, sharpening your edge here, and you only sharpen these on one side, you want to follow that original contour. Maybe this will... But you do end up with a burr on the back side of the blade and just take whatever you happen to be using and take it and take, make a light pass along there to uh, remove that burr on the back side. So after you've done that, then we can go on to the most important step, which I feel anyway, is the balancing. Okay, now for a very important part of uh, blade maintenance is the actual balancing. Now, especially if you have one of these newfangled types that have this star center, right? You know, the old famous method of pounding a nail in the wall. That doesn't work so well with this type. This one here, this is probably, you know, you find this at any home center for five dollars or less. But, again, you know, that's that thing's kind of hard to 
center in there. So I found th this one on Amazon. It's right around a hundred dollars. It's an Italian made one. This is also available with an Oregon part number. And this is pretty much a type you would find in like a pro mower shop. And well worth it to me. So fairly simple to use. Just mount your blade there and pull the back up and it has six strong magnets on there that center it. There you can see it's locked. It has very fine bearings in it. And there you can see we have a perfectly sharpened, sharpened and balanced blade. Also has this thing here on the side. Point that out and you know you can measure the distance between the tip of the blade on each side and see if your blade's bent. So again, that, now i got a perfectly balanced blade. All we got to do is uh, slap it back on the mower. Okay, now we got our nice sharp blade and we're ready to mount it back on the mower. We'll go ahead and do that. And here, again, you can see this one is marked grass side. And what I like to do is just put a dab of anti-seize compound on this bolt. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff. And you do not want to get this on your hands. It's, this crap just has a tendency to, it'll take a week to come off skin. <laughs> so, there you can see the amount I have on there. And we'll put our bolt back in. And I will be using the electric impact just to snug it up. the part that gets me you see a lot of guys on here they'll be using their half inch automotive impact just wailing on this bolt now I checked in the manual for mine and it does have a torque spec on here of 35 to 40 foot pounds so I did I got out my 3 8 torque wrench here I know if you can see that we're on 40 foot pounds and we're going to properly torque this and not just wail on it with the impact. So I'm just, I'm using a glove here that I have. And right there, that's it. You don't have to wail on that mounting bolt. So with that, we'll finish this one up, and thanks for watching.